This is why the narcissist desperately craves the empath's return. Empaths, brace yourselves as we venture into the enigmatic depths of hidden truths that often slip through your grasp. The narcissist, a relentless source of abuse, belittlement, and neglect, has left you feeling like an insignificant wisp of existence. As you watch them seamlessly waltz into new realms of supply, nostalgia consumes you, yearning for the days when love bombing was the prevailing anthem. Despite immersing yourselves in countless videos on the subject, some of you wrestle with internalizing the core message. It eludes your grasp, dancing just beyond your reach. But listen closely, beneath the mask they wear, the narcissist secretly hungers for your presence, empath. They know they pushed you to your limits, and the void you left gnaws at them, longing for your return. Though such vulnerability will never grace the surface, facing rejection is anathema to all, but to the narcissist, it's an unbearable torment. Rather than openly acknowledging their emotions and engaging in earnest dialogue, they prefer to keep you suspended in perpetual yearning. Their mastery lies in concealing their true feelings behind a labyrinth of lies and pretense. So when you catch a glimpse of their theatrical displays with a new partner, exuding apparent joy and contentment, remember it's all smoke and mirrors. They've honed this performance over years, even decades. What evidence suggests that genuine transformation has graced their souls? In their grand narrative, you were a pivotal figure, an indispensable cog in the machinery of their existence. Your contributions, your wise counsel, they all held value. Don't be disheartened by the facade of blissful smiles they parade with their newfound companions. Who's to say these individuals are truly superior? Beneath their veneers of happiness, lies an unexplored tapestry of melancholy. They have so callously disregarded the profound privilege of having you in their lives, failing to muster a morsel of gratitude. Nonetheless, if this video resonates with you, I humbly request a fragment of your precious time to extend your support through the simple acts of liking and subscribing. Thank you, and onward we go. It's vital that you grasp the harsh reality beneath the surface. They lived in misery while failing to appreciate the true value of your essence. Don't be fooled by their apparent happiness with new partners. It's all a facade to deceive you. They play a twisted game, pretending to be content and satisfied, but it's far from the truth. I hope you understand the essence of my message. I know not everyone agrees, but many comments express the belief that the narcissist is happier without you. That's a deliberate act to make you feel that way. They know you watch them, so they put on a show. My advice is to stop seeking glimpses of their life and focus on your healing. Nonetheless, let me be unequivocal. I will continue to remind you to refrain from looking. Why? Because we all need reinforcement from time to time, don't we? They present themselves in this manner for your benefit, to provide you with closure and assurance. Remember, you played an integral role in their journey, be it for a year, two, three, or perhaps even longer, you are an indispensable part of their narrative. Can I be candid with you? Now let's talk about another important aspect. Can you believe they can easily replace you with someone new and erase all memories of you from their minds? Do you think they don't constantly face reminders of your existence every day? Let me clarify. If you were truly mistreating them, I'd be honest about it. But that's not the case. You treated them with kindness and did your best. Nobody is perfect, but you did everything you could. However, they twist the story, making you doubt yourself and believe you were wrong. But that's just another layer of their deceit. As the truth comes out, their true character is revealed, and they continue lying without remorse. They are pathological liars, my friend, weaving webs of deception without any guilt. When you see their picture-perfect social media posts with a new partner, don't be swayed. Behind those seemingly happy faces lies torment, comparing themselves to others and yearning for something they can't find. Can you now see through their carefully crafted lies? They are masters of deceit, and you can't trust a single word they say, not even for a moment. To truly understand the narcissist's longing for your return, dear empath, is to grasp the extent of the boundaries they violated and how far they pushed you. Yet, they shrewdly keep you entangled in a state of confusion, 
valuing your emotional turmoil during this phase. While lesser narcissists might feign apologies, many will merely move on, attempting to evoke jealousy within you. Let me share a tale without personal attachment. As soon as my perusal of the narcissist's social media ceased, an intriguing pattern emerged. Swiftly, they adjusted their privacy settings, confining their posts to a private audience. Initially blocked, they later unblocked, yearning for a response, cunningly flaunting their new supply, seemingly taunting me. But with a recent inspection, all traces of this new supply vanished behind tightened privacy settings. In that transformative moment, a conscious decision was made, realizing that such an experience should never be endured again. Understand that the narcissist longs for your presence, yet they tremble before the changes you underwent. Paralyzed by the fear of confronting the consequences of their actions and the pain they inflicted upon you, facing you in person remains a daunting prospect. Know this, dear empath, you dwell within the depths of their minds, as their steadfast pillar for a significant time. It is only natural that even as you embark on a new journey to heal from their abuse, thoughts of their impact may linger. So why should the narcissist be any different? They too reflect and ruminate upon the profound influence you had on their lives. Emerging from a realm of personal experience, I venture to divulge an encounter of profound significance, a Hoover attempt that transpired after four elongated years. This narrative stands as a testament to the indelible impact empaths, the chosen targets, wield upon the very existence of narcissists. A profound mark, etched with permanence, becomes an unshakable imprint in their consciousness. As time unravels, they become besieged by doubt, questioning their actions and motives. My recent video delves into their perplexing act of forsaking loyal followers, discarding those once held closest solely due to the dissolution of a relationship. Dear listener, I beseech you to pause and ponder the weight of these words. Do not be swayed by their veneer of glee, for beneath that cheerful mask lies an abyss of despair. Their lives, a mere facade, an elaborate masquerade, awash with artificial illumination. Cast aside this illusion, delve beyond the surface, and you shall uncover dusty beings, peculiar and pitiable, truly nothing more than dusty weirdos. Remember the days when we painted them in shades of beauty and benevolence? Appearing lovely, charming, sweet, kind, compassionate, and empathetic, they ensnared our hearts. Yet beneath the veil of artifice, their true essence remained cloaked. Now, with newfound supply, they replay the act, but this time, the target is you. Empaths, take heed, for they cannot escape the clutches of your presence, sequestered within the labyrinth of their minds. The narcissist yearns for your return, grappling with the boundaries crossed and limits pushed. Facing the truth in a direct confrontation terrifies them. Why? The fear of rejection and abandonment cripples them. I went through that difficult path myself, trying to break free from a narcissist's grip. They resorted to self-harm threats, manipulating situations to gain control. Remember, they need you more than you need them. Don't find comfort in their new sources. They still think of you. Some may think they'll never come back, but I had a Hoover encounter after four long years, catching me off guard. As we conclude these reflections, I kindly ask for your support by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Every bit of encouragement means a lot. If you're curious, check out more spiritual content on my secondary channel, link in the description. For those who want to support further, there's a donation link provided. Personalized sessions are also available. Details in the description. Stay tuned for another enlightening video coming soon. Have a wonderful day ahead.